Hey guys, today we're going to try a much hyped mascara from the drugstore. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Times Fiber Mascara. It says Black Primer Extreme Volume Fiber Mascara 20 times the fibers extreme length. So we're going to give this a try. If you guys are interested in seeing how it works for me, then just keep watching. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Um, maximum fiber concentration for up to seven times more volume. It said that the supple black primer instantly builds extreme volume and depth on each lash, creates a smooth and even black base to prepare lashes for fibers. So we shall see. I have loved the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid fiber mascara that has white fibers. I'm curious to see if this is black fibers or white. I'm not always a fan of the mascaras that are raved about on the internet as you guys probably know. So we'll see what I think of this one. Are there instructions? Does it say on here? Okay, step one is down here. Step two is up here. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like shoelaces on mascara. That's what I think of, I think of sneakers. All right, step one has like this hourglass kind of wand. So let's try it on this eye. I always coat down on the tops of my lashes and then up on the bottoms. There's step one. It just looks like a very light coating of mascara. Nothing impressive just yet. Step two has a curve to it and it looks like a mascara with fibers built in so it doesn't look like it's a dry fiber product. I don't really feel like that did much. Let me try another dip. I mean, they look nice, but I'm not super blown away by this. Am I supposed to keep going back and forth like you do with other mascaras? I'm gonna try another coat because so far this is not impressing me. You can see the fibers on the wand, so I know they're there. I just don't see it doing much. I mean, it's definitely not a bad mascara. I'm just not blown away. So this is the side with the mascara on the top, and this is without. Obviously, you can't see my lashes without because they're blonde. I mean, it looks nice. But like I said, I'm not blown away. It's not like, wow, my lashes are so long and so full. Let me try the bottom and we'll see how it looks when it's all done. Step one. I do like that it is not flicking or smudging to my lid at all. So it's definitely a drier formula which is easier to work with and less cleanup, so that is a plus. Okay, so here it is with top and bottom done. It looks fine. If you have very thin, sparse lashes, this might be nice. I do have decent lashes to start with, so I don't really feel like it did much for my lashes. It separated, it coated, it made them look nice. It didn't make them look bad in any way, shape, or manner. But I'm just not, not blown away. So let me finish the other eye so I can show you the full, the full product. Okay, so I've adjusted the lighting so that you can see the lashes better. This is what both eyes done looks like. Like I said, they're very pretty, they're black. They're full and fluffy, but they're not lengthened. I don't really feel like it added a ton of volume. I don't really feel like the fibers did 
much with this formula, especially when I'm comparing to the Gigi Hadid Maybelline mascara, which adds length, adds volume. I'm comparing this one to another drugstore fiber mascara, it just doesn't live up to this one in my opinion. So for me, I would say pass on this one and go pick up the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid fiber mascara. This one's very good. Or I believe CoverGirl has a, I remember what it's called, I believe fiber, CoverGirl has like a fiber mascara where it's all in one and that one is also very good. Um, for me, I just don't, I don't see what all the hype's about with this mascara, but let me zoom you in so you can see them up close for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review and try on of the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Fiber Mascara. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.